all right wonderful people welcome back to this wonderful channel where we bring you back to back update and information as today or in case you have not joined our social media and what are you waiting for kindly go ahead and subscribe like comment share and also remember to all your notification button so that whenever our news drop you gonna be the first one well, collect them let's go down to the news proper i see the what you don't shell i see the b yeah, the matter is where we say it did for my table now. I see the heart. I go to bring out to you one one. Yeah, before that, I say shout out to all of us of freedom all over the world. Uh, wherever on that day, I say shout out. I say hi, the before on idea. Hi, the before on idea. That the question I will be saving myself. And they ask all of now, all of us of freedom over the world. And you can see that gradually freedom is coming to its doorstep uh, very soon. Umuchineke uh, will be a liberated people uh, because of the effort of uh, the Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic government in Israel. Mazi Simon Ebanwan Jokwekele Lamo Siwokike Ndebanyi Sinifo Eneme Nonyake Kweja Kweja. As it be, make a carry you go to all it down uh, to that freedom land uh, within the shop and within the happen there. They say, uh, for matter will be say there for my table before I go to bring you inside matters uh, where they happen for the land of the indigenous people of Biafra. They say police don't arrest Vigilante Kobadao and three others. The police in River State, South South Nigeria, have arrested a vigilant leader and three others for allegedly vandalizing and dismantling a telecommunication mass for sale. <laughs> the police spokesperson in the state, Grace Iringe Koko, who disclosed this in a statement on Tuesday, identified the suspect as Kinsley, also known as Obobochi. A vigilante leader in Isopo in Ikwere local government area of the state, Mrs. Iringe Koko, a police superintendent, said the three other suspects are also executive members of the vigilante group, uh, as the news reported it. Uh, before I will go down for the full detail of this information, uh, you know, say it gets something where we say it happened for Dagote refinery, uh, where two army people. Uh, carry car, they say they carry a Kura car, go inside there, go pack pack a mud cap where we say they cut into sizes. And this one now, um, we happen for this uh, river state way south south day. And uh, security people, kwa uh, man, I do or getting a mezzi, uh, uh, in Ketaja at our wire by a no no. Oh, say Taylor. Um, I see the B, uh, may we continue. They said the police spokesperson said the executive members of the group, Mark Prince, Destiny Oniwo, and Azubike Olu, took advantage of their unrestricted access to the group's armory to use it to perpetrate crime. <laughs> the sequence of events leading to their arrest unfolded when a scrapped dealer known as Prince approached Ododo Obabuchi during a vigilante group member's burial. Prince presenting himself as a businessman from Omagba proposed a joint venture involving the dismantling and sale of a max belonging to Globacon located on a shadowed road in LLA. Mr. Ododo, the police spokesperson said, agreed to provide a firepower mandatory during the operation for a fee of 500000 for Prince to carry out the mass dismantling. The suspect allegedly concerned dismantling the mass with the Ododo and his team providing cover for them. They were, however, intercepted by a police patrol team as the operation progressed, leading to a confrontation arrest of the suspect, Mr. Eringe Koko said. Um, my question is, why dog they go chop the thing where we say they carry for food for the dog neck? <laughs> dog carry something where they put for a neck chop. And uh, dear in the B. As in the B, uh, they say that IPOB don't deny attacking Northerners in the southeastern part of Nigeria and the indigenous people of Biafra. Now, they talk this way. Remember uh, how uh, the Elders Forum of in the North, Ndu Gudia, uh, be the comment say, uh, say for one side, for the land of Biafra, Alibo, say they, 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 they oppress their people, even some of them, they don't buy that. Die the IPOB. 
uh, they tell them say that's well now the reason they say that one don't follow but can carry you go to the full detail of the information as the make you see as the matter they go ipob denies attacking northerners in the southeast the indigenous people of biafra ipob has denied attack on any northerner or Fulani doing their legitimate business in the southeast contrary to recent allegation by the northern elders forum which claim that Igbo pro biafra group has been harassing its people in the zone although the group admitted to killing of cowed reared by armed herdsmen, it alleged the cows were destroying the farms of the farmers in the zone spokesperson of the IPOB, Ima Pafu, in a statement he released to newsmen yesterday, disclosed that even Flani living in the zone are free to tra transact their businesses, but not to, dis to the detriment of the farmers or engaging in open grazing, which he noted has been banned by the Southeast governors. He said, for public record purposes, IPOB and ESN are not attacking Northerners including law-abiding Fulani in the East. There are many responsible and law-abiding Northerners, including Fulanese, doing legitimate business in the East without anyone harassing them. However, IPOB, ESN, he noted, are pursuing criminal elements and terrorists in our bushes, forests and farmlands, who are terrorizing our people, taking on our women, killing our farmers, and destroying our farmland and community. On the mass killing of the cows in the east, IPOB ESN takes responsibility for slaughtering the cows that these terrorists are using as conduits to occupy our farmlands and destroying our crop just to send the message that we don't want terrorists in our bushes and farmland. Powerful said. <laughs> he added, moreover, Open grazing has been banned by the South East Governors Forum since 2020. There are houses for rent in all the cities and towns in Biafra land. There is no region that has houses more than the East in Nigeria. Any Fulani who is interested in doing a legitimate business should rent a house or a property like other citizens and not to go and occupy bushes and grazing in people's farm. If the Northerners that are doing legitimate business in the cities should be allowed should allow the northern elders forum to refer to them as being harassed by ipov because they are the sophisticated terrorists mass murders and taking on women in biafra forests and bushes they will continue to be harassed by esn until they vacate and stop coming into our territory uh, you don't see as that matter they be this one namaze ima powerful now they drop that report and that report is coming on behalf of the esl and the ipob according to him he say uh, the report uh, that northern elders forum brought uh, to the people that are in the uh, somehow descending on their people and uh, i waiting in my powerful talk he said that one a lie uh, say um now the people will be saying boys they pursue uh they say that those guys uh will be say that they do uh what did they call grazing for inside the bush will be say uh the government say uh they don't want that one again as see the be you know why you know get as the be we it ever be before but i carry you still go uh for that uh for the story where we say it day for the obodo as the be um, I see there for Lagos State, they say civil servants are now earning 70,000 as minimum wage. And I sound old now in the talk this one. <laughs> um, I go say this 30,000 minimum wage, I hope is going to reach to the other uh, small, small workers. Of course, you know that um, for places like America, developed country, Europe, and the rest of them, uh, their minimum wage, I see they be for that site, uh, it be like saying uh, $11 per hour. Uh, and uh, that's one and uh, something where we say he reach every single person uh where we say he did for that area <laughs> so now waiting that they ask whether this seventy thousand minimum wage will be for even person uh where we say they do for sales girl for somebody shop uh, because you know for this nigeria that mbabu uh nine the citizens take uh on them and they they on themselves as it be they say dollar don't come down uh, but the prices of things are still on the higher side 
And my question is, uh, is it the dollar now or is it the people now? Uh, some people say it's the people. Some people still say it's the dollar. Uh, some people say, eh, they say waiting they buy that time where dollar rise. Say they never finish sell them. I said it's one where you sell the one where dollar rise, where you buy cheap. <laughs> oh, say Taylor. Meanwhile, somebody's in Obodo, Nigeria, Chakor Obodo, Mano Mano. But um, somehow, if you look at some things that is happening there, it looks as if I know you Chakor Obodo, Mano Mano. Uh, but the thing is that um, uh, we can't come, meet on, on everything. But you know, get a CV where you never be before. Now, here I go to wind down the curtain. And if this is your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, uh, kindly go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, share, and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news drop, you'll be the first. We'll collect them. Thank you for listening. God bless you.